Hey guys, it's me. Today, we're going to be talking about G.I. Joe Classified Series Zartan. The heck kind of name is Zartan? I love this, and I kind of feel like I only got it for the box. Look at this. Remind me of those old picture books you have as a kid. You just kind of switch faces. Like, normally with the cheaper figures, I just put them in a tote. Because, again, nowhere to display them. But uh, with this one, I kind of want to just keep the box because this is so cute. I love this. Storm Shadow. Old guy. I don't know who that is. Uh, Snake Eyes. Zartan. Uh, Zartan get ready to kill somebody. Sweet old man. Surprise. Storm Shadow. Sweet old man. Storm Shadow. Uh... Snake Eyes, Storm Shadow, Zartan. It was me all along. Okay. Dreadnought's box looks really great. They went all out with this box. And bam, here's the back. This is usually what you get with the G.I. Joe figures with the back. It's like the same thing. And I took the liberty of opening this box before. So that will be no hassles. Comes with instructions on the inside, but who cares? I'm a grown man. I don't need that. And here's Zartan. Now, the cool thing about this one. Like I said, the cool thing about this one. The cool thing about this one. Is that he can turn blue. You put him in a freezer or some cold place, and he just kind of turns blue. Really, really neat. Who else but Hasbro, am I right? Nah, Mezco is a little gimmick like that, too. I could totally see them doing that. Watch them do it next year. Uh, then they took the liberty of taping everything. Cool, cool, cool. I really appreciate that. Make sure stuff doesn't just fall out. He has a little... Um, futuristic. Dang, what gun is this supposed to be? The heavy machine, light machine gun. Yeah, this would be a light machine gun, right? I don't know. He has that. It's a futuristic gun anyway. It's not supposed to be real, so it doesn't really matter. I could call it whatever I want. It's a Zuga Woggle. Who cares? And he has a. Handkerchief when he eats some messy food. And he's got his little bow for when he's copying Storm Shadow. I think Storm Shadow uses bows, right? Maybe? I've never really been into G.I. Joe's. I just always thought Snake Eyes, Storm Shadow, and Duke look really cool. And the Hasbro somehow convinced me to buy a ton of them. Like I, I think I have like 10 or 11 G.I. Joe's now. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. I have a problem. Woo. Um, I'm just going to assume that this pegs in right here. Yeah. And then this will peg into his back. And he comes with a handgun. Man, these gun designs are awful. I guess they had to make these gun designs to appease parents because guns are bad. And he has this great little skull thing. I love this. Come on up. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Oh, you can see it. His head's turning a little blue. The house is kind of cold. Like my heart. And so he's starting to turn a little blue. He's getting a little shy, a little nervous. Don't be nervous. They love you. Yeah. Range of motion is pretty good. Twist like that. And Zartan kind of dresses like he's in a boy band. But um, plastic looks a little weird, I guess, because it changes color. Um, it feels a little weird. Oh, man. 
I almost forgot to smell it. it smells like Play-Doh. Yeah, he looks like Play-Doh, actually. Huh. Elbows go about that far. Maybe farther. Can we go farther? Can we go beyond? I always have a fear of breaking these things during the review. Like, at all. I'm just going to stop right there. It probably goes farther. Uh, go to a real reviewer's channel. They probably, like, stress test that thing. So, <laughs> I'm not doing it. Uh, and his arms are like that. Got these little gun-holding trigger hands. And his head just go, ooh. You got the little sexy smirk. He's a bad, bad man. And his legs he got thigh swivel. And then he has his leg can go about that far. Feels like something's stopping it. It's not the belt. It just maybe it's because I have to. Yeah, it just as soon as you twist up, it just feels like something's stopping it. Yeah. And legs go about that far back. And then he has this boot. Just swivel, 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 swivel. Swivel, 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 swivel. And then feet can go like this. And okay, there you go. I gotta reset them. Yeah, this one too. Mm. Yeah. He can't do the can can dance. Mm. And then the same thing with this foot, this foot. It's all the same. It's all symmetrical, baby. And he has a little knife holder on the back. That's really cool. But yeah, he he really he dresses like a stripper kind of. Why would he wear this combat armor? It kind of reminds me like how they they have women dressed in the battlefield and stuff like that. It's like, why would you wear something that has a midriff in it on the battlefield? Like, that makes no sense. Unless you're, like, trying to distract the enemy and all that stuff. But I love his mask because you can just place it over his head. Eh. Yeah, looks really good. Kind of looks like he has an overbite, but... Oh, my God, I put the handkerchief on. Because he's a messy eater. Oh, he's so messy. Just a little bib on. And then you put the hood on. Looks uh, serviceable. Honestly, looks a little dorky. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of not digging that. Everything just kind of floats up top. We all float down here. And it just kind of floats. Like, it fits, but it just... I don't know. Altogether, it just looks kind of goofy. Kind of looks like a Halloween costume. Mercenary stripper. Um, oof. Yeah, oof. 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 Dang, bro. Oof. I like him better bald. Um, so if you don't want to use that, you just take off. <clears throat> you take off that ugly face. And you can put on a better face, like Snake Eyes. Much, much better. Nobody could ever suspect that he's not snake eyes. Look at this. Beautiful. Like if I saw this, I 100% think, hey, that's totally snake eyes. Snake eyes, what are you doing here? It fits kind of weird though. Maybe it's me. Maybe I didn't put enough muscle in it. Yeah. <coughs> 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 Yeah. <sighs> 
Okay, now it's on there. I'm sorry, Modoc. Yep, you can see it's starting to change colors from the abuse. And then we got the Storm Shadow head. I've always liked Storm Shadows look a little bit better than Snake Eyes. Snake Eyes looks awesome, but Storm Shadow has like that classic ninja look to him. At least the one that I'm aware of. Again, I've watched like one and a half episodes of the original G.I. Joe, and I've had no interest in any of the reboots. And the only time I had interest in the action figures is when it was Snake Eyes, but never bought them because my mom was cheap. She had money. She just was really cheap, and she would pick the weirdest times to buy action figures for me. It was so weird. This woman would go out and buy like $200 handbags like constantly and never use them. But then I asked for stuff she's like, I'm not made out of money. Redacted. Yep. Looks good. No one's not stiff as snake eyes. And then these are just masks. So you could put them on his regular face. Take that off and just now he's an old Battle Heart and Man. And then now, with this mask, that one doesn't really fit like that. It kind of reminds me of a cashew show. Looks like a wizard. Okay, so the, see, with this, it looks fine. Like with the face mask outside of this one, it looks fine. Heck, I'd probably even do... Oh, yeah, that actually looks pretty good. Mm, maybe on a different body. friendly old man yeah you know, like none of these disguises really make sense with his outfit you'd have to swap this on to another body or something to make these disguises make sense yeah because <laughs> yeah totally trustworthy yep nothing suspicious there nope So these peg into his back, like shawl. Man, this is really clunky looking. Oh, at least you could put all his guns and stuff over here. That's cool. That's really cool. But it kind of reminds me of like with the Game Boy, the original Game Boy, when you um, get those extra accessories for it. And then you just keep on doing all these add-ons and then it looks like some type of Voltron figure or something. That's what this feels like. It's just really clunky and if he's supposed to be like stealthy and all that other stuff, I don't know. Whatever. I'm not a designer. What do I know? You know nothing. Uh, do these go here? I think they do. My boy, he's got it. And I guess the bow could just be held in his hand. And then he comes with a knife. A little all black knife. Nothing too fancy. Just kind of going for that futuristic look again. And the knife can go in his back.
Yep. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. Yeah. What do you think, Mulder? Well, you're kind of cross-eyed, bro. Hmm. I never know she even had pupils. Ew. All right, guys. Well, that's the review. Um. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Don't. Um. I don't. Whatever. Who's watching these videos, man? Uh, if you are watching it, thanks, and uh, I love you. Have a great day, man. Uh, have, have a great day.